Um, hello, guys. So in our last lecture, we looked at subgroups. Um, we defined what a subgroup is, and we looked at um, a couple of examples of subgroups. Um, this lecture um, is the beginning of our studies on uh, isomorphisms. OK, now this first video is just going to be an introduction to what um, isomorphisms are, or if you like, what binary structures are. And then from there, we'll move on to uh, actually de defining uh, homomorphisms and isomorphisms. OK, so this is basically an introduction to isomorphisms. All right. So um, let's, uh, let's move on. Um, now, given that you have a finite set, uh, let's call that S, OK, uh, in a binary operation star, the point is that um, mathematicians often want to know um, the relationship between you know, two given structures, or if you like, groups. OK, so if I have this structure, a set with a binary operation defined on it, and then I have another one, right? Uh, given by s s prime and then x uh, x die prime here. Okay, now is it possible to know whether these two structures are similar? Um, and the question the question even comes: uh, What do you mean by similar? Okay, um, often the term used mathematically is that they are structurally alike. Okay, so how are they alike in terms of their structure? Okay, so that is the main point of isomorphisms. Uh, in trying to um, giving this um, this um, binary structure and giving another one, um, can 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 you tell any relationship between them? Um, are they are they similar uh, in in their structure? Okay, so that is that is a concept of um, isomorphism. Okay, so we want to look use these finite sets or uh, um, to to. Um, to do to introduce ourselves to um, what isomorphisms are. So you consider this table, for instance, um, S here is a set with ABC, ABC, and this is what is uh, what you find, right? Based on the binary operation, you get these uh, within the table. You take um, another one where the binary operation is um, X star, okay? Um, and then you you have you have this this um, variables or if you like these symbols within within the table okay so given this and that for for example can you can you can you tell whether they are related anyhow in terms of their structure well so we're going to take these first two examples in fact they are related in the sense that um if in this set here right wherever you see a okay wherever you see a you replace it with alpha for example and wherever you see B, replace it with beta. Wherever you see, replace that with gamma. In fact, if you do that in this set, you get exactly uh, this table here, OK? So um, you don't see it until you have, you have performed this kind of you know, correspondence relations between them, OK? So that is what this is basically saying. Um, so when you, when you do those replacements um, in a one-to-one -one correspondence, it can go the other way around, right? So in here, wherever I see A, I can replace it with alpha. When I, when I see B, replace with beta, C, replace with gamma. Uh, in the same way, um, when you do that, you know, you, you, get, you get all here as well, right? When you replace this with A, B, and C, you get, you get that table. OK, you get the point. Great. So um, now there's, there's um, an even better way to visualize it, right? So. If I just replace, um, as I said, these are A's, you see on the table, you see the structure of, um, of A, right? Where, um, where A's are, okay? So if I, wherever A is, if I replace alpha with A, I get that, okay? So suppose that these symbols were not even there, A and alpha were not there, right? And it just, it just colored the boxes containing um, A and alpha, this is what you get. And really, you can see that um, they are very similar in, the, in terms of uh, the positions of A and then and alpha. You can do the same thing for beta, right? And, and B, wherever B and beta are, if you remove them, you get that, okay? And do the same thing for, uh, for C, uh, wherever I see um, uh, gamma, I put in C or C, I put gamma, 
um, if you color those locations, you get that. So you realize that even though we have different binary operations here, in fact, the structure of these two sets were really uh, basically very similar. They are like the only difference was in the symbols that were used to represent them. In this case, ABC, in this case, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay. But they have they have um, a similar structure. So when you say they are structurally structurally alike, uh, basically when there is a correspondence between them like that, you could say that they are alike. Okay. So this is one sense um, of, of structural alikeness. Okay. Um, now here we, we looked at we looked at this and that. In fact, you can also show that these two, two tables here, okay, there is there is uh, some similarity between them. All right, all right, they are also structurally alike. Well, in what sense? And that is what uh, I've explained here. Okay. So if in this table here, right, this table um, has a set R, S, and T in that order, right? R, S, and T, and you have you have this. In fact, if you rewrite this, and instead of starting with R, right, you order it as S, R, and T, okay? So, but the same, look at this, the operations are the same. If you just reorder it S, R, and T, you are going to get this table here, okay? By applying the same binary operation, right? Note that here, for instance, R, um, acts, uh, operate on R to give you R, right? The same here, R and R gives me R. S and R, for instance, gives me S. S here and R gives me S, okay? So the only difference between them is the order in which um, they are listed. Over here, and the heads, the heads of the table, you have R, S, and T, and over here, you have S, R, and T. So over here, if you just shift uh, the order, right? If you start with S, R, and T, S, R, and T, and apply the same operation, you just get this table here. So unlike the previous one when, where there was one-to-one um, -one correspondence, here there is no one-to-one -one correspondence, right? We didn't set it up that way. But this one is just set up to see that when you just reorder the, um, the, uh, the, the elements of the set, right? Reorder them on the table, you basically get the same, uh, you get the same results, okay? So that is also an example of two structures, or binary structures that are alike. Okay, so these, these two are alike, and, and they are alike in a way that is a bit different from the other one where there was one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, um, you can also tell in the final, the final thing we want to see is that there's actually a relationship between this, uh, this table here with the binary operation star and this one here. Okay, so if we can note that this is related to that, this is related to that. So if you can show that this is actually related to this, then it means that all four are actually related, okay? And we can see the relationship between this and that actually. So, and that is what I'm explaining here. So we'll call this table X and table Y, all right? Um, so you notice that if in table X here, okay, like we did before, if we replace here every A with S, okay, A with S, wherever you see B replaced with R, wherever you see C replace it with T, Right? If you do that here, you get table Y. Okay, so here as well, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between um, um, the, the variables here, all right? So A goes to S or S to, S to A. If you do that, you're going to get this one, this one from this, right? Or this from that, okay? So really what this means is that all four tables um, that we have considered have the same or similar structure. Okay, the, table, the tables are different um, in the symbols um, that are used, okay, or in the order in which you arrange um, the elements in the, um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the table here. Okay, that is, that is basically the difference between them. Otherwise, um, everything else is the same. So we say that they are structurally alike. So that is what it means to say that they are structurally alike. We'll look at two tables that are not alike so that you can make the uh, comparison or the comparison becomes clearer. So let's take a look at um, these tables. I call table E and table F, which are different, all right? Can you, can, you just, can you see the difference, right? This is different from this, and both of them are actually different from these four that we have looked at, okay? 
over here in table E, for example, you will notice that in the, in the interior of the table, every element is X. So it doesn't matter, X on X gives you X, Y, Y gives you X, Y, X is X. Every element there is X. And it's different from here where you have um, different, different elements for different operations, okay? So this, of course, is clearly, clearly different from this one. You can't make some kind of one-to-one -to -one correspondence or you can't change the order of, um, of the listings in the elements here to get anything different or to get a relationship between them. So they are different, okay? They are, they are also different from the previous ones. Uh, for instance, from, uh, from this one, okay? Well, if it's different from any of the four that we've looked at previously, then it's different from all of them because all four are alike. Uh, how different are they? Notice here that, look at the diagonal elements within the table. All the diagonal elements are gamma, right? Alpha and alpha gives you gamma, beta, beta gives you gamma, gamma, gamma gives you gamma, all right? So along the diagonal is basically the same element. So if I take any element S in this set and um, operate it on itself, I get gamma. And this is different from here, where I look at the diagonal elements, they are different, they are different, for all four of them, they are different, okay? So this is different from this, and it's also different from the previous ones. So really, for all the six, um, six tables that we've looked at, we only have three structurally different binary operations, okay? On, the, on those finite sets with three elements, okay? Because all the previous four are alike, so that is one structure. This is another structure. And that is another structure. So basically, we have three structures. Okay. So in a sense, um, as we'll see later on, isomorphisms um, will will define what we mean by two sets or two structures, right? Let's say two groups. How are they um, alike, and how are they different? So that is what we want to uh, we want to uh, we want to look at. Okay. So um, in the following, we really want to study the different types of structures, as I'm writing here, um, that binary operation can provide, right, on a set, having the same number of elements, okay? Right, the function, right, the function that shows that two algebraic structures are alike, right, is known as the isomorphism, okay? So we'll come back to this in detail later, but suppose that I have, um, Two, two sets, G and H, and there's some kind of correspondence between them, right? Let's say a one-to-one -one correspondence between the, these, uh, these two sets. Then of course, if I take A and operate it with B, I get A star B, and that will be the element in here, okay? Well, but if there's a one-to-one, -one, right, then phi, this function here will take A here and map it to phi A here, right? So A becomes phi A, B becomes 5B, 5B, right? And then um, here, if I operate this on that, I'll have 5A star, star prime because the operation here is star prime. They are different operations, right? This will give me that, you see? So later we'll see that if I define a function um, that maps elements from this set, the structure here, G, to this, and, right? And phi of uh, A star B gives me phi A star prime phi B. If this is equal to that, then we say that this function here is a more homomorphism, all right? And if the relationship is one-to-one -one and onto, then you say that it is an isomorphism. So in the next video, this is basically an introduction and a motivation to isomorphisms. In the next video, um, we'll formally define homomorphisms, and then we'll look at isomorphisms and then prove some theorems on that, okay? So um, I'll end this introductory part here, um, and then we'll, um, we'll continue in the next video on uh, defining um, isomorphisms.